Okay, so uh, here's how to create a DVD from your Final Cut project. First of all, you need to click on your sequence anywhere just to make sure that this is the active window. Um, then we go to the Final Cut Express uh, File menu and we choose File, Export, and we choose Using QuickTime Conversion. Uh, we need to save this on the desktop, so it's on the local hard drive. And to give it a name, and we just need to change these settings here. So at formats, QuickTime Movie, that's fine. And just click on Options, and under Video, Changes Settings, change this to DV PAL. Uh, we can up the quality to best and change scan mode to progressive. Now if you've uh, shot in 4.3 you can leave the aspect ratio as 4.3 or if you've done it in 16.9 change that to 16.9. Uh, click OK and then um, the audio is fine, the sound's fine and just click OK again and save. <clears throat> and this will render your whole project as uh, a movie file. So now that's exported, we don't need Final Cut anymore, so I can quit Final Cut. And we see that the video file is on the desktop. Now we need to open up iDVD. You can find this either on the dock, it's this uh, icon, or if you, it's not on the dock, you can choose the Applications folder, and it's in there. Or if you're missing that, try the Spotlight and just stop typing it in, IDVD. Now, um, <clears throat> you need to create a new project. If uh, a current project opens when you open IDVD, just close it down and create a new project. Uh, and we need this in, in either my documents or the desktop um, and again uh, choose either standard 4.3 if it's been shot in 4.3 or widescreen and give it a name okay so here's our DVD we're presented with um, <clears throat> the DVD menu we don't really need this so if you click on the little um, show DVD map icon, what we can do is we can make it so that the um, video starts playing as soon as you uh, put the DVD in. So all you do is drag your video onto this icon that says drag content here to automatically play when the disc is inserted. And one last thing, with this icon selected, go down to the information button and we just want to loop the movie. Now looping the movie makes it so that um, uh, the DVD is always playing this project, it never goes to the um, menu. Uh, so we need a DVD in, so we pop one in the DVD compartment and we just wait for the Mac to recognise that there's a DVD in there and just click OK for this and this is the burn button click on that, uh, ignore this, this is uh, doesn't really mean anything and away it burns ok so when that's done the uh, Mac will uh, eject the DVD and if you just put another DVD in it will automatically burn but I'm, I'm going to quit this now So then, you might just want to check that it works, so pop your DVD in, and it should automatically start to play.